hello guys welcome to coding cafe so let's start and let's finish this send friend request now and then we will work on the cancel and decline friend request so first the first step is that is the two friend if the two persons are not friends with each other then they can send friend request to each other i mean the one person will send friend request and the other will accept so for that the first condition is we can say if current state dot equals to if this is equals to as you know that we have initialized this variable here above the current state and it is equals to you can see that inside the initialized fields method we have uh, i mean it is initialized with not underscore friends okay so first of all the two person will not be friends okay you know that so if the two person are not friends then what we gonna do we are going to allow a user to send friend request to the other person so then both will become friends if the receiver accept the friend request so let's do that so we will create a method here and let's call that method here and we will call it as send friend request send friend request to a person so this is the method which we are going to create now inside the personal profile activity so you can see that our method is created successfully so now inside this we need to create a new node inside the firebase database and that node name will be let's remove this profile reference and because you don't need that okay so we will create a friend request reference okay friend request reference and let's so this will be equals to friend request reference will be equals to firebase database dot get instance dot child and the name of this node will be friends friend request okay friend requests you can see that this is the friend requests and now come down here and now inside that node when a person send a friend request to another person then we have to store the data and now what is the structure of that 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 data will be first let me write the code and then i will show to you guys that how the data will be stored inside the database so we can say friend request ref dot child so inside um, i mean uh, inside that parent node which will be the friend request there will be a child of the sender so i mean we will first save the sender user id and then we can say dot child receiver user id when i run the app then i will show to you guys the structure of the data so then you can understand it more clearly okay but first let me write the code dot child and under that we can say request request underscore type dot set value and the value of that will be sent dot add value sorry add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here first and then inside this own complete method we can say if the task is successful then we can save so this data will be basically for the sender and now the other one we have to create another reference using the friend request reference and that will be for the receiver as i told you once i complete that uh, complete this then i will show to you guys uh, the structure of the data when we send friend request to a person then we can say friend request ref 
dot child and this time the receiver user id will be first and then the second child will be the sender user id dot dot child and then the request type will be request underscore type underscore dot set value and the value of this will be received r e c i v e t dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and then we can say if task dot is successful friend send friend request button dot set enabled to true and let's change the current step now to so once the person sent friend request to the other person then the type of this will we will say request request underscore send so this will be equals to request underscore send and now we have to change the text of the send friend request button so instead of that button we can say send friend request dot set text sorry it is text and the text for this button will be now cancel friend request So this is the cancel friend request and yeah that's it and now the decline friend request as you know that that button will be uh, invisible okay so we can say set visibility to view dot invisible decline friend request button dot set enables to false so yeah that's it and now let's run our app but before we run our app, I think we have forgot forgot to put here a semicolon when we create the friend request reference. Okay, so make sure to put a semicolon here. So yeah, that's it. And let me check this friend request reference sender receiver and then then for the receiver. So let's run our app and let me show to you guys the data structure so that you will understand it that how it will work so you can see that our app is running now successfully and now let's send friend request to people so now let's send friend request to uh, I mean okay this is my own account so I can't see the buttons okay you can see that and now let's send friend request to Elon Musk so you can see that so first let me show to you the database also alongside with this when we were testing this app so now let's do that so i will send for request to Elon musk and you can see that friend request node appears and if i expand this then this there are two childs okay you can see that so the first one is uh, the receiver id and then the sender id okay and then the receive type that is this person received friend request from us if i show to you guys this one so you can see that this is zgx4 so where it is this one so you will be able to see that this is Elon musk okay so we send from request to Elon musk this is the id of him so you can see that the request type is received now whom sent from request to Elon musk so i will explain expand this second child and if i expand it you can see that sent okay so this is gqol so G Q O L, you can see that if I expand this, then you can see this is Mohammed Ali, which is my account. So I sent friend request to Elon Musk. You can see that. So it is working really nice. You can see that. Now the next thing is, and also the button change, uh, the button text change to cancel friend request. But if I go back, okay, if I go back and if I come here again, then you can see that the text disappeared although the friend request uh, record is uh, available in the firebase database but we have to do something to display here i mean the cancel friend request for muhammad ali okay i mean for the users for all the users basically if someone sent friend request to others so for doing that let's do that first 
so now i will go to intro studio back and now come here above so we have to maintain the text of these buttons which we created so that it will work fine just like facebook and other social networking apps so what we going to do for that let's create a method and tenants of uh, buttons let's say that is the send friend request and the decline friend request buttons i mean the two buttons so we have to do uh, i mean we will write a long code but for now we will just uh, maintain the cancel friend request text for the button but later when we work uh, on the that is the receiver how the receiver will see these buttons so we will work for that in the upcoming tutorials but first we have to work for the cancel friend request so let's create this method inside the person profile activity so you can see that this method is created successfully and now we will work on that so inside that we can say friend request ref friend request reference dot child sender user id dot add value event listener or instead of that let's call it for the single event so we can say add listener for single value event new value event listener and now inside this on data change method first we going to do the validation which is if data snapshot dot exist so if the child exist which is we are basically linking here to the firebase database and we are checking for the received and sent type that is if the request is sent then we have to display uh, the button text as cancel friend request so for that what we're going to do first we have to retrieve the request type which is the i mean this one okay request type send and then we will do for the receive type request type received when we work for the receiver when the receiver request uh, receive a friend request from a sender okay so first we have to do for the send so we can say string and let's call this as request underscore type equals to data snapshot dot child and then we can say receive user id as you know that this is the sender user id i mean uh, we store the data as this is the sender this is the receiver and this is the request type so you can see that it is the sender and then the receiver and then we can say i hope you understand this okay but if you not then let us know in the comment section below and i will try to explain it in more details so the request type is this one okay which is request underscore type so you make sure to use the same name okay if you do not then your app will crash request r e q u e s t request underscore type so request type dot get value dot to string and make sure to put a semicolon semicolon is really important let us snapshot dot child receiver dot child request type and then the value to string yeah that's it and now we are going to use the if condition so we can say if request type dot equals to sent so if this is sent then we can say as you know that the current state will be uh, equals to request underscore sent request sent make sure to put a semicolon and then we can change the text for the send friend request button so dot set text and the text will be cancel friend request yeah that's it and we have to uh, invisible the decline friend request so come back here and let's copy this decline friend request from here and we will pass that here above where it is this one so here we can pass that to which is decline friend request invisible and set enable to false so yeah instead of this uh, dot exist we can set that a snapshot dot has child receiver user id so so 
send friend request button oh i'm sorry for that it is not tag it is text so make sure to uh, use this set text now let's run the app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully let's go to find friends and now you will be able to see the cancel friend request okay you can see that if i go back and i come here again then you can see that it is working really nice as the record is also maintained here so now uh, that's it for this video so in the next video we will log in using the receiver account that is Elon Musk account and then how the receiver will accept the friend request so we will work in the next video we will work on the accept friend request functionality in this video we have successfully add the accept uh, the send friend request functionality and in the next video we will work on the accept friend request functionality so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now